Uh, this is Craig at Leaf Life, uh, just shooting a quick vid. Just going to go for a wander in uh, the local woods. Uh, we stay. Uh, going to go and see what kind of tinders we can find, natural tinders and stuff like that. And just a, a general mooch about with a dog. So we'll get it woods, see what we can find. We found uh, quite a bit of larch um, resin. As you can see, got quite a bag going there. You just come in, Steve. This is basically what we're after. Now this the tree secreted this because it's obviously had a bit of damage. Rise it away. And grab it. As you can see, all nice and clear. There we go. So, I think we've got enough now, haven't we, Steve? Yeah. Let's not have use our resources. As you can see, there, there's quite a bit. In there. Now, also what we got before is we managed to get some uh, fat wood um, from an old stump that had been cut over and as you can tell, it might need drying out a bit but that reeks. You can just see by the colour as well, um, yeah that hums that. So. We harvested a bit of that, so that's going to be for our fire kits that we're got, that we'll see putting together, natural fire fire uh, kits. So uh, that can go in there. And um, did we not get some birch bark as well? We got some birch bark as well. You have got yours to hand. So these are the kits that uh, me and Steve are, are getting together in just a little uh, pouch. And you can see in there, we've collected some birch bark. And this is a bit of that fat wood, and look at the color of that. You can see like in between uh, each, in there there's all chogs of, uh, of sap, or resin, should I say. The good thing with these little pouches is, there's a little zip in the back there um, and you can put some tinder fungus, some cramp ball like I've got in mine. So these are the kind of things that we're getting going at the minute, just a natural tinder bundle. And it's a little mission that me and Steve are going to be on over the next couple of weeks is to light pretty much all our fires with, uh, with natural, um, in natural ways using natural fuel. No Vaseline or, or, or um, uh, cotton wool buds. Cotton wool no man-made accelerants. No man-made accelerants. So it's a challenge Steve came up with, and um, at Leaf Life Bushcraft we always take challenges. <laughs> um, we might not always succeed, but we definitely always take the challenge. So uh, yeah, so that's just off one or off one type of tree, larch. Uh, we've got the sap, and then from a large stump, we've also got the uh, fat wood as well. Mm. So we're going to go and have a shifty round a little bit more, and if we come up with anything else, we'll let you in. Our search for cramp ball has not um, yeah. come up fruitless so far. Yeah, we're going to go and f try and first, uh, search get some cramp ball. Okay, no. See you later. Right, um, basically, we've just collected some um, uh, resin. And we're just going to put this in the centre. Whoops! We're going to put this in the centre of um, this birch bark. Obviously, you know birch bark is flammable anyway. But what we're going to actually do is use the birch bark as a bit of a wick because um, it's the vapours. So I've been told off uh, our Dave, Canterbury, um, that it's the vapours that will re release by the uh, resin that actually ignite. So a bit like um, petroleum jelly. So what we're doing is we're using the birch bark as a wick, and we're going to. Uh, Hopefully it should burn for quite a long time.
こう Of uh, use, we just I just used a lighter. Now the smoke should turn black as soon as like that pitch pine is. Uh, you can see this. All this is burning down, but directly underneath the pine, this will last a lot, lot longer than uh, just. This stuff on its own. In fact, we'll get this lit here, this little pile. That's got no pine resin in. And this stuff has. You can see this stuff. Whoops. Well, as you can see around the outside, and even this bit, it burns away. And the bit in the centre, it's got the resin in, it continues burning for ages. So you could easily, easily, easily make a fire on top of that. And even if it was wet, the stuff would still go up. resin as an accelerant it's basically carrying um, a concentrated bit of my wood round with it round with you you can see everything else is burnt away you can smell it now yeah you can see just inside there that's still burning away beautifully now, I don't know if Steve can just come up here you can see it just there bubbling away. That's gonna that's gonna go for that's gonna go for a long time that isn't it? So, yeah, basically, if you're, if you're ever in uh, pine or let's see a scotch pine, check it out, see if it's got any resin. Um, you want to find just naturally occurring resin. What, what you definitely don't want to do is start hacking into a tree and then coming back and collecting the, 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 the resin from that. That's damaging the tree. Um, not necessarily kill a tree, but... You know, if everybody went and did that, then it would do serious damage. So you want to find naturally occurring resin, which is a lot harder to find. Um, or somebody else has done, or something else has done some damage to a tree. Go and look at the scar marks. But whatever you do, do not start hacking into it. Um, and it's not like tapping birch. You can see it's still, it's still going. It's not like tapping birch that you can put. Um, a plug back into it so whatever you do just try and find the naturally occurring stuff like we have it's a bit harder to find but it's uh, it's fully worth it as you can see there I had to put that out so anyway we're gonna go try and find some cramp ball before it goes dark right, so basically um, it's going dark we've had to put the light on um, but we was searching for some cramp ball and Steve stumbled across this beast um, and if Steve just swings in underneath here I know it's hard to see but we can see some all over here and some big ones now what you're after is you're after the ones that got a hard like this they're hard and you can see the rings in the this one's actually a little bit soft it's a little bit squidgy but 
basically what you don't want is these ones that are soft like that you basically want these ones here and in there you can see the rings that's the stuff the shiny stuff so um yeah so we basically harvested these it's going dark so we're gonna have to get back but we'll uh, i'll try and maybe uh if i can and i've got enough battery i'll do a little follow-up video at home and show you exactly what we got and everything but yeah we've had a nice trip out into the woods a nice brew and that it's been cracking so catch you later